Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 190. That is, what is the difference between burn up chart and burn down chart? Let me answer. What is the difference between the burn up chart and burn down chart? The purpose of both is burn up and burn down charts is to track the progress of the project. If you want to track the progress of the project, we can use both of these charts, burn up and burn down charts, okay? Both have the same purpose. But what is the difference between this burn up and burn down charts? In case of burn up chart, it will give you how much work is completed. How much work is completed. Here is a diagram guys for a burn up chart, which shows how much work is completed. You see on the left side, we have the story points, okay? Total story points for the software to be released into the market, let's say. Okay, these are the total story points and this side we have the number of iterations. Okay, let's say we want to we are planning to release the software after 10 iterations. Okay, that number of iterations or sprints you can say this side we have the total story points that need to be delivered to release the software into the market. This side we have total iterations. Okay, total iterations uh, that we need to complete in order to deliver the software into the market. So according to the iterations, how much work is being completed? How much work is being completed after completing each and every iteration is something known as burn up chart. How much work is completed is all about the burn up chart. But coming to the burn down chart, how much work is pending? It's not about how much work is completed in burn down chart. It is how much work is pending, still pending. How much work is still need to be done? Okay, is what is burn down chart. Here is the diagram for the burn down chart. Here on the left side, we have the total story points and here we have the number of days, okay? Uh, so when the day is complete, how much uh, work is still pending, okay? How much work is still pending? So how much work is, how many points are still pending? Like uh, here, if you see, there are like around uh, 27 points pending, right? At this point, after three days, after three days, 27 points, story points are pending. That much amount of work is pending. So this is what is burn down chart and this is what is burn up chart. Burn up chart while it uh, shows how much work is completed. Burn down chart will help you track the progress of the project by helping you in finding out how much work is still pending. So hope guys you understood what is the difference between burn up chart and burn down chart in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.